For the mail. <laughs> Marketplace all closed up? Yep, I did all the stuff you asked. Great, thank you. Guess we're all set to go as soon as the girls get here. Oh, I'm so excited to show you and Sweet and Sour how beautiful our countryside is. Your guys' first Berry Bitty City annual camp out. Uh, Strop, I think I've been on a few campouts in my day. <laughs> I know you have, Apple, but this is your first one with me. And that's very special to me. Oh, yeah, me too. What you got there? This is the perfect opportunity for me to film a camping video. I'm going to set up a link on my very best bits page. So, like a travel log? My night in the wilderness? Hmm, not exactly. More like Apple's step-by-step -step guide on how to set up camp the right and proper Apple way. Sounds like a big project. No task is too big when it comes to teaching the world the science of camping in the outdoors. Sounds great, but you know, this camp out is for fun and friends, not work. So I hope you won't be too busy to have fun, too. Sour! Sweet! Are you ready? Hi, Apple. Where is everyone? I don't know if this great outdoors thing is gonna be so great. Sour, we haven't even left yet. That's the best time to rethink going somewhere. That's a sweet camera, Apple. <laughs> sweet, get it? <laughs> <laughs> that does look pretty pro. Shooting a big movie? Camping tutorial. Oh, wow, great idea. A movie all about us? Oh, a video of our camp out? Uh, no, actually, none of you are in it, just me. I'm gonna demonstrate in high definition, stop motion, time lapse photography how to set up a camp, the fine points of how to properly pitch a tent, the do's and don'ts of unrolling a sleeping bag, how to avoid the heartbreak of a cold cook stove, two hours packed with vital information every camper needs to know. Oh. Uh Two hours? And an extra half hour of exclusive bonus material. Camping tutorial, the making of. I need a cloth to clean this with. Do you have one, Strop? Sure, in the kitchen. Are we ever going? Somewhere out there is a poison ivy plant with my name on it. We're coming! Huh? Wait for us! <sighs> Sorry, we're light, Strawberry. Whew. Almost forgot the supplies Sweet asked for. No worries. So, Orange, you got marshmallows? Check. Cherry's got them in her pack. Girls, I'm so excited to make you my special s'more than s'mores recipe. It's regular s'mores, you know, graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate bar, with my unique twist, strawberry slices and shaved almond. Yum, says Plum. Neat, says Sweet. <laughs> Oh, nuts, says Orange. Uh, that doesn't rhyme. No, no, the almond! I think I left it on the counter in my store. I'll go with you. And chocolate milk! You can't have a campfire without hot chocolate! Plum's got it in her canteen! Perfect. We'll heat it up on our campfire, and then you all know what's next. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's next? We put the fire out? <sighs> it's one of our long-standing campout traditions. Tall tales. Tall tales? Yeah, we make up fun stories, like tales, like make-believe, and tell them around the campfire. Everyone gets a turn. The wilder, more outrageous, the better. Sounds outrageously thrilling. How about short tales, so we can get home sooner? <laughs> You're too funny, Sour. All ready. Are we good? Oh, my God. Got it. We're all set. Let's do it.
here so I can start shooting. Come on, tea time. We're supposed to be relaxing and having fun. <laughs> oh, I better catch up with her. You do that. I'm going to take a little break. <sighs> Have a good See break, good Cherry. Enjoy your rest, Cherry. <sighs> now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. Phew. You said it. Uh, guys? That isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? <sighs> We're here. About time. Very beautiful meadow, our old campground. What a gorgeous spot. Huh? Apple, wow, you're really going to town. The first part of assembling a tent is to lay out all your equipment in a neat and orderly manner. I'm so sorry, but this is the spot where we usually build the campfire. It is? And we set up all our sleeping bags just over there. And our cooking equipment here, near the campfire. Can I help you move your... set over to the edge of the meadow? That's okay, Strawberry. I want to keep it in a certain order, so I'll do it myself. You guys go ahead. Don't mind me. in the very bitty world has happened to Orange, Cherry, and Plum. Maybe they got smart and went home. Sour. So, where's the marshmallows? I've got my stick. Let's get roasting. That's for after dinner. And we can't start dinner until we find the other girls. I'll go back down the trail and look for them, Strawberry. Thanks, sweet. I'll come with you. <gasps> Cherry! Plum! Orange! Where have you been? Are you all right? So sorry, Strawberry. Long story. You wouldn't even believe it. Try me. Well, I was just taking a little rest stop with Orange and Plum, just minding our own business, not bothering us all, when all of a sudden... <gasps> Marshmallows. But suddenly, Orange ran out of tree. Plum and I had to think fast. She stuck a perfect ten landing. <laughs> How did you ever get the backpack back? Oh, yeah, we uh, made a trade with the bird. Orange's almond for my backpack. You mean there's not going to be any shaved almonds for my s'more than s'mores? Come on, is that what really made you late? No, it's not. <gasps> Cherry's just trying to cover up for me. The truth is, it was all my fault. It was the canteen of chocolate milk. <laughs> Like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting her dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum, ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dang nabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Hey, 
now, looky here. Might come in handy next time we're high-stepping at a square dance. <gasps> Sizzling sassafras! <laughs> oh, blusteration. It went down a crater hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for it now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes the nothing. So, by gum, we clumb down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <laughs> Well, there we was, down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey, now, that canteen is iron, Buster. Gotta hand it over real friendly like. Wouldn't you know it? That critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Balleration. Well, now the hair's in the butter. After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best step lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle. Right in the end! Get it! tell you, it was a rip snorting ride. That varmint threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> so... No almond shavings for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> Come on. What really made you late? Okay, okay, here's the deal. Uh, it was really, uh, well, all my fault. The truth is... I put it to you, Orange. Might that be the very almond intended for sweet s'more than s'mores recipe? What? Well, indeed it is. Oh, whatever was I thinking, I shall squirrel it away, as they say, until an appropriate occasion calls forth the necessity to bring it out in the open. Eh, hey, what? Well said, Orange. Well said. Uh -huh. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Is that polite? Cheeky fellow, eh, what? I say, fellow travellers, let's tarry no longer in this dreadful spot. Off we go! Beg pardon? Run! I must confess, I read like the very dickens. And who wouldn't, being chivied by a fiend, set on Pelonian Sweet's precious almond? I believe I have a strategy that I suspect might outwit this thieving rapscallion. Have you? Do tell. <gasps> I say, old girl, capital idea. Fiddlesticks. 
You mean, you really did lose the omen for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> I don't get it. What's so funny? Sweet! <laughs> Why so serious? Don't you like our tall tales? What tall tales? Wait a minute. Oh, no! Sweet, you weren't there! Wasn't where? This morning at the cafe when I explained about our tradition of telling tall tales. You went with Orange and... Oh, I'm sorry. Sweet. It's something we always do for fun around the campfire. We make up outrageous stories. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought all those stories were real. <laughs> nah, it's all just silly stuff. <laughs> Plum and Cherry and I will get more kindling, since we were late and couldn't help set up camp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm dying to know, what really happened? What really took you so long? Oh, Strawberry, I don't know, it's, it's just too embarrassing. Come on. Well... It's like this. You see... We just stopped to take a break. Now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. You said it. Uh, guys, that isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? Hey, check it! My new dance routine. are so busted. No chocolate for strawberry? No marshmallows for sweets more than s'mores? I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. We better run back to my store. <laughs> Hurry, before someone sees us. Can't find my keys. Oh, here, hold this. Marshmallows. Check inside the storeroom? You got it. I found the marshmallows in the storeroom, but I tripped and knocked the door closed, and I couldn't get it opened. Hey, get me out of here! Hold on, Plum. <sighs> we'll catch you. Here. Here. Got everything? Canteen. Marshmallows. Check. Where's the almond? Inside. On the counter. Locked. Keys. Inside. On the counter. Next to the almond. Aww. Now what do we do? We gotta get back. It's getting late and they'll be worried. Sorry, sweet. You're gonna have to do without the almond. And so, we ran back up here as fast as we could. <laughs> That's the best tall tale ever! <laughs> but unfortunately, it's true. 
enough of the limelight, so I hope you don't mind, Strawberry, but the Berry Big City Bitty Games needs a band for the opening ceremony. They called me, but I suggested your band, and sent a tape. And they said yes! <laughs> There's so much to do. I have to pack. But what do I pack? Oh, uh, I'll need a jacket if it's cold. And shorts if it's hot. Galoshes if it rains. <laughs> Take it easy, Raspberry. You don't even know when we're going. When are we going, Cherry? Tomorrow. <gasps> Tomorrow? There's so much to do. Wait, Wait for, for us. us! Wow. We're going to Berry Big City. That's a long way. <laughs> Uh, uh how, how are we gonna get there? Oh, I thought we'd just take my tour bus. Oh! Uh, how long will we be gone? A long time, I bet. <sighs> well, I better get packing. Me too. Are you coming, Orange? Yeah, right behind you. We'll be taking my bus to Berry Big City. Do you think it'll make the trip okay? Hmm. Well, if anybody can do it, it's probably me. <gasps> Wonderful! And could you do one more thing with the bus? Hmm. When do you need it? Tomorrow. Hmm. <gasps> Tomorrow? <laughs> There's so much to do. Where's my sprocket wrench? When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Let's make a plan. Together we can. We're invincible. Ah, Strawberry. Would you have any of that marvelous mulberry pie? The very best pie in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> Why, thank you, Berry Kim Bloom. Right away. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? 
Yes. Don't tell me. You're rearranging the cafe? No. You're looking for a treasure? No. No. You're... you're... you're going on a trip? Yes! <laughs> All the way to very big city! Oh, a magnificent metropolis. I haven't been there since... <gasps> what? <gasps> if you're there and I'm here, how will I get any pie? Oh! Uh, that's a very good question. Hiya, Orange. What you doing? Where you going? And why? We're all going away on a long trip. <sighs> but what about us? Where will we get things like this? And that? And these? <gasps> You're right! Where will my customers go? A critical matter indeed. What will happen to us and what will happen to Berry Bitty City? There'll be no one to take care of my store. Or Lemon's Beauty Salon, Blueberry's Bookshop, Plum's Dance Studio, Cherry's Music Lessons, Strawberry's Cafe, anything! Maybe we can show the Berrykins how to run things while we're gone. <gasps> Brilliant plan! We, the Berrykins, shall take charge! For duty, for honor, for Berry Bitty City! Yeah! 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 Don't forget the scent stems! My customers love them! Check. When do I give the facial? After you set out the magazines. You want to make the salon experience a pleasure. Got it. Pleasure. Now, Mud? Okay, I think you're ready to... Oh! Uh, oh, my! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Eric and Bill! What? Did I miss a spot? <sighs> I think we're gonna need a little more practice. I'll have the tossed salad, please. Tossing the salad! Tossing the tossed salad! Oh, that was... Very good, but next time, don't forget the plate. Oh! Well, it's, uh, different. When reading aloud, you must create the proper mood for your listener. Yes, the mood. Yes. <laughs> I'll find the missing red pepper under R. Hmm. Pepper goes in the P section. And sweet basil does not go under S. It may be sweet, but it goes in B for basil, sweet or not. This isn't working. They're doing the best they can, but oh, there's no way I can leave them in charge of my store. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'll just have to stay here. The rest of us go on without you? I'm sorry, Strawberry. But Orange, we need you in the band. Maybe if you show the Berrykins exactly what they need to know to run your store while you're gone, I'm sure they could get it right next time. Oh, okay. Let's give it another try. <laughs> How's that? Hmm. Now then, let's see. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, uh, never mind. That's where it's supposed to be. Aha! No, I guess that does go there. All in all, it's more or less basically perfect. Yeah! <laughs> Phew! <laughs> now you can go on the trip with us. <laughs> Looks that way, huh? Oh, Jerry! Oh, you made it a 
the Strawberry and the Sweet Beats Band tour bus. <laughs> well, what do you think? Fantastic! Oh, oh American Bruce, it's beautiful. Well, <laughs> I figured if you're going to Berry Big City, why not go in style? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We were supposed to leave an hour ago. What's keeping her? She's just having a little trouble deciding what to pack. She'll be here any... Um... Minute... Uh, we're gonna need a bigger bus. I'm afraid there's not enough room for all of that orange. But I, I can't leave any of it behind. Not even two dozen jars of assorted jams and jellies? Well, I could maybe take just one dozen. Your store's entire stock of tape, paper clips, and envelopes? Well, you never know when you're gonna need. Come on, girls. Let's get the rest of this loaded on the bus. Nursery rhymes that I. No! Not that one! Read this one! It's a lot better! Really? Well, uh, a case of the slinking, slinking slinker? Oh, my, <laughs> that sounds a bit <clears throat> frightening. But it's science! Oh, well, then, uh, once upon a time, there was a slinking slinker who. Here. <laughs> well, um, are we sure we wouldn't rather hear these quaint and charming little nursery rhymes? Slinking Slinker! Slinking Slinker! A slinking slinker who had long, sharp, glistening teeth and a growl as loud as a foghorn. Oh, this sounds dreadful. <laughs> this will be so much fun! I can't believe we're actually going! Aren't you excited, Orange? Orange? Is something wrong? Stop the bus! <laughs> what is it? What's the matter? I just remembered I forgot to bring... my tea. <laughs> tea? We can get some in very big city. Not my special blend. It, it's my own blend. Mine. My very own. I cannot get it anywhere else. I... I guess there's time to go back. And the slinking slinker slinked into the night, and nobody ever knew what happened to it, and that's all the end! Yeah! No, no, no. It's past my, uh, er, past your bedtime. Uh, come along now, come along. Uh, Off you go. Get to bed. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Don't think about... about that awful slinking slinker. Everything all right, Berrican Bloom? All right? How could it be all right with that slinking slinker slinking about? Slinking slinker? Mm, that doesn't sound good. I should say, slinking slinkers are only the most terrifying creatures in existence. I read it in a science book. And you say there's one around here? 
Here, there, no telling where. That's how it is when slinking slinkers, you know. They slink. Well, I'm not scared. Why should I be afraid of a... Let's get Orange's tea so we can be on the road again. Oh, a slinking slinker. Oh, goodness me. I'm sure there's a simple expl... What was that? And th that? We have to do something. We must protect Berry Bitty City while the girls are gone. We promised. Let's keep this to ourselves. No need to alarm the whole city. Hmm. I have an idea. Oh, I almost couldn't find it. Those barricans have my store too organized. Come on, let's get going. Listen, a whole army of them. We must defend the city. Stop the bus! What now? I left the hose running in the garden. I think uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, that is the very best I could do with such short notice. Amazing! What is it? A slinking slinker snatcher. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I sort of thought so. Just a little farther. This is the last place the Slinky and Slinker was almost seen. Trap is set. Now what? Now we wait. It's very late. We don't want to wake the Berrykins. Let's be quiet. Oh, this sounds dreadful. It must be the slinking slinker. Shh. We don't want the berry kids to think there's somebody slinking around. Yeah, but we're slinking around. What is this doing out here? Oh, see? I knew the Berrykins wouldn't put things away while we were gone. What is that? Looks like some kind of... <gasps> trap! Ooh, sounds like we caught a big one. <laughs> well, hey, these look a lot like... Strawberry shortcake. What are you doing here? Uh... We needed to come back? <sighs> to check on the city? Um, sort of. But the city is fine. That's why we built this trap. To protect Berry Bitty City from the Slinking Slinker. <laughs> the Slinking Slinker? That's just a story. <laughs> Did the baby parakins tell you it was real? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was, and then when I heard, well, someone slinking. Oh. <laughs> that was just us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Guess I let my worries carry me away. Running your businesses and taking care of the city were harder than we thought, but we did our very best. Didn't you trust us, Strawberry? Oh, it wasn't that. It was... <sighs> it was me. I kept finding excuses to come back. I guess I, I was sort of afraid to leave Berry Bitty City. Aw, you were afraid? You could have told us. Oh, we understand. I'm sorry, Orange. It's no fun to feel afraid. Does it help to know we'll all be there together? It does. You're not afraid to sing, are you? And you're not afraid to put on a costume and get up on stage? No, of course not. Berry Bitty City is a very wonderful place, and we'd never leave it for long. You know that, right? What if, instead of thinking about what we're leaving behind, think of what's ahead? A great big adventure.
adventure waiting for all of us. Yeah. Our band's first performance will be very amazing. I would never want to miss that. Uh, wait a minute, if you could. I have something for Orange. If ever I have occasion to travel from home, I always take this reminder of home with me. I'd like you to have it. Oh, look! It's Berry Bitty City. There's my house and my store. Everybody, I think I'm ready to go now. Come on, sweet beats. We can practice our song on the way. When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Marmalade! <laughs> This time. Go get it. Go get it, Marmalade. Fetch the ball. Good girl. Now, bring it back. That's it. Bring it back. Oh, not again. No, Marmalade. Marmalade? Another ball, huh? Um, 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 um. I've been trying to teach you to fetch, not hide. We're running out of balls. Now this time, bring it back, okay? Oh, uh. Bring it back, bring it back, Marmalade, to me. Bring it here, to me. To me. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> You're going with that. Oh. Uh -huh. Morning, Orange. Oh, hi. What's wrong? Oh, Cherry. I've been trying all morning to teach Marmalade to fetch balls, but all she does is run off with them. I don't know where she goes, but when she comes back, the balls are gone. Huh? <laughs> There you are. Where have you been? This is our last ball. Cinepup knows how to fetch. Maybe if she showed Marmalade how. Oh, that's a great idea, Cherry. Worth a try. Cinepup! Wanna play fetch the ball? Huh? Fetch the ball? Go get it, girl! Hey! Marmalade! That isn't polite! Oh. Marmalade? Where did you go? Marmalade! Oh, what has gotten into that puppy? Where does she go? You know, Strawberry helped me teach Cinepup how to fetch. Maybe if you asked her, she could help you with marmalade. I'll take her to see Strawberry. Soon as she comes back, that is. Marmalade! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> see what I mean? Come on, you. We're going to visit Strawberry. Yes! I love you, too. Come on. Want to see Strawberry? Let's go see Strawberry.
gold. The last. I mean, I'll stay with what I have. What? What is it? What's going yeah, on? I, um, I really want you girls to try my new aromatherapy herbal eye masks, okay? Now, <laughs> close your eyes and just <laughs> focus on the delightful scent. <laughs> Now, I need you to relax, Strawberry. Enjoy the eye mask, and uh, I'm gonna add some extra special berry conditioning, a uh, conditioner, to your new hairdo. Uh, sure. Okay, Lemon. Now, Plum, just lie back and enjoy that eye mask. <laughs> Uh, it feels like you're rinsing me, not putting in conditioner. Well, it works best wet, you know. But why did you just dry our hair then? Um, relaxation? Let's just use the, uh, handheld dryer this time, okay? Is something wrong, Lemon? No!
Oh, <laughs> hi, hi, Strawberry. Hi, guys. I really appreciate what you're doing to fix things, but could we have just a minute of quiet so we can figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the day? Oh, uh, sure. No problem. You got it. I vote we wait around in Soundproof Blueberry's bookstore and... It might not be practical. Ride our scooters to Barry Biddydale and back? And, uh, back again? We need juice power for that, too. I vote we spend the entire day bored. No! Okay, bored and frustrated. No! I mean, this is a great opportunity. For what? Something new. Something exciting. Fun, different. Like... Like... Hmm. Our own sporting event. What kind of sporting oh. event? Well, I don't know. How about a relay race? <laughs> Our own Berry Bitty relay race. Huh. Uh huh. Interesting. And why Bitty? Why not go for Berry Berry Big? A relay race on land, on water, and in the sky. Yeah. We'll have teams. We'll start at the lake with a sailboat race. Yeah! And then you pass the baton to the next team. Uh, uh, a steeplechase on frogs! Yeah! Fun! Great! Wow! Sounds wonderful! And then they pass the baton to the third team. A sky race! Flying on birds! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I like that. Strawberry really sailboat! Like that. Right. All in favor? <laughs> well then, I guess it's unanimous. Come on, let's go. I oh, can't wow. wait. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Come on, let's go. Huh? Hey, where do you think you're going? To watch the sporting event of the year? Where else? Do you want to miss it? No, but oh, we can't. We got a job to do. Oh, uh, just for a little while. Uh, if the boss saw us leave, we'd be in trouble. But if he didn't see us leave... Keep at it! We have to find that blockage! Careful, Earl! There he is! Quick, before he sees us! Cherry is racing for Team 1, and Plum for Team 2. Okay, you zigzag through those buoys to the other side of the lake. Then turn around, and it's a straight shot back to the dock. Good luck! <laughs> You're gonna do it! We'll be cheering for ya! <laughs> Think win! On your mark... Get set! <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Marmalade, no! That's not a toy. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to teach her. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! We'll know when we get to the lake. Well, how? I can't see where we're going. <sighs> Look down, Earl. What do you see? My feet. 
And what else? Your feet. Ugh. What else, Earl? Rocks? Right, rocks! When we get to the lake, we'll look down and see lake! Hey! We're here! But I can't see them. Huh? I can see them. How close are they? You don't want to know, Earl.
wish we could do it all again tomorrow. I wish you would. Oh, 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 Sorry, but this turned out to be a, a bigger job than we thought. Oh, yeah, um, uh, really big. But we'll have everything up and running by morning. Guaranteed. No problem. If it isn't finished, I'm sure we'll find a way to entertain ourselves. You can do it. Yes, right. Well, I'm tired. How about you guys? Ooh, I'm not a kid for bed. Oh, can't wait. wait for tomorrow. Marmalade? Ooh, doggone it, where'd that puppy go? But I must admit, I'm not sure what a Berry Fest princess does. You've got to judge the flower show. Oh, Don't forget the honey days. Oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. You got the girl. Yeah, it'll be great. Uh -huh. ooh, ooh. And twirl the Berry Fest princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the Berry Fest princess baton? I'd better practice. Climb the buffet. Right, the buffet. Yeah, the cobbler. Cobbler? And ask the blitz. Uh, Blurkles! Get all the wings! Spaghetti! Oh, the buffet! Before, after... What is that? Oh, I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berrykin's Bitty Book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says, the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean, exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. See you bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. This is a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. She would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to. Oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard. <laughs> I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. <gasps> huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands. You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh no, look at the time. Uh, I'm late to pick up the petals from my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Oh, she just ran.
ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the berry can dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the berry bitty bunny hop during the parade. But the berrykins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. <laughs> I'd love to help them, but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs> as soon as I finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what would really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait! The wings are supposed to look exactly the same. I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly. Sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. 
Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go! Bye! <sighs> I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Uh, custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh. It's the very last task. Oh no, not another one! It says, I wrote this so fast, I put this task last. But it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait, that's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. We like what we do and do what we like. Don't we have a very nice life? Grab some fruit, have some fun, wait till the work is done. It's time to celebrate, laugh, and sing. There's magic in the air. We are the very kids. Decorate carriage. Check. Plan menu. Hmm, check. Baton twirling. Mm. Yep. Mm. Working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I've changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh... <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your own. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See, she likes mine best. Uh-uh, not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Look, Strawberry. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful. Not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my back! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined. Hopping is silly. You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no. This is no fun. So there. Yeah. Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. 
galloping gooseberries. Be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <sighs> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why didn't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <laughs> what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left. <laughs> can someone help me down? I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait, that voice is real! <gasps> Look, a bear! <gasps> hey! Over here! Well, we've just got to save her. Come on, everyone! you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We 
about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. Oh, you're making me feel like a real princess. Right over left, back with the left, to the side with the right, and left in front, completing the square. And with me, right cross, left back, right side, left front. That's it. You're getting it, Strawberry. <laughs> now the big finish. Kickball change, pot of array, and PK turn. Pot of beret and PK. Whoa! Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, Plum. That last part's very tricky. Can we try it again? Sure. You'll get the hang of it. One more time, Cherry. Here we go, Strawberry. Kickball change. Pot of beret and PK turn. Fetch, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Nice job. Great to take a break from Berry Big City and relax in the country, huh? Oh, 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 Easy oh, now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're a great team, huh, Tom Tom? You and me always have been, always will be. Hey, what's that? You hear it? Sounds like it's coming from town. Oh, it's gonna take lots of practice to learn that kickball change, pot of beret, and PK turn at the end. Apple and I have been working on something that might help. How's it coming, Apple? Yep, it's coming. One more sec and go. Okay. I recorded Plum dancing the steps. What are you two up to? Oh, just you wait. You're never gonna believe this. And I have a surprise. Remember these guys? Groove booties. Do I <laughs> remember? Remember you and me chasing those things all over town? I thought they disappeared. At least I hoped they did. Well, <laughs> funny thing. Uh-huh. I'm not laughing. Now, now, chill for a sec, Strawberry. Apple has reprogrammed them. They are perfectly harmless. Those things are a hazard. Not anymore, I promise. Now they are, uh, uh, instructional. Watch this. I'm downloading Plum's choreography. 
And ta-da! The Groove Booties are now teach you how to Groove Booties. And music! Look at those booties groove! Well, you seem to have taught them how to behave, Apple. Cherry, don't stop playing! Plum, take five. If everything works, the groove booties know the moves now and they'll dance on their own. Once they learn the steps, they can take the tune and run with it, so to speak. <laughs> is an old slipper. Are you ready to try them on, Strawberry? What? Who? Me? That's what this is all about. They're a teaching tool. They'll help you get a feel for the tough steps. You, uh... You're sure this is safe? The only risk is you'll turn into too good a dancer. <laughs> or the computer crashes and your feet get deleted. What? Hey, tech humor. Just step into them. They shrink or grow to fit any feet. Well, okay. Ready? Hit it, Cherry! Whoa! Whoa! Just relax. They'll help steer you. <laughs> it's like the shoes know what I'm doing before I do it. Here it comes. PK turn. Keep your toes crossed. Oh, yeah! I did it! <gasps> did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Whew! <laughs> so, did my groove booties give your feet a helping hand? In a very big way. You can wear them, or they can dance in demo mode. Teaching Groove Booties. Whoa, very cool. <laughs> it looks like they work for more than just me. Yeah. Hold on a sec. Do you have any more of these things, Apple? I can make more. Why? I think I'm having a thought. Okay, Cherry, hit it. <laughs> oh, look at that doggy duet. They're not missing a beat. Ladies and gentlemen, the pause never pause. Here's where the music's been coming from, Tom Tom. Wow, dancing dogs, and now that's talent. Hey, 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 I just had the greatest idea. What if we put on a show to let everyone see these guys dance? Yeah, they sure seem to be having fun. We'll invite everybody to be a part of it. Uh-oh. I hope she isn't gonna ask me to dance in front of people. This is my worst nightmare. Come on, boy. Huckleberry? Oh, <laughs> is that you? When did you get here? Oh, uh, hi. Just, uh, now. You are visiting us at the perfect time. Guess what? Uh, cafe is closing lunch, so I better get over there as fast as I can. Nah, silly. We're gonna have a dance show. <gasps> One night only. Plum Studio goes to the dogs. See the dynamic dancing doggies. Oh, wait, why just two dogs? A canine trio! <laughs> this is gonna be huge! Oh, so just dogs up on stage there dancing, right? That's right! Would Tom Tom like to audition? Well, yeah, but just him, right? Not me. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole idea. Just dogs. Great, huh? <sighs> you have no idea how great. Those dogs sure were talented. We better teach you to dance like them or Plum won't choose you. I'll just ask Blueberry for a book on how to dance. The book will teach me, and I'll teach you. Easy. Hold it. She might think I want to learn to dance. That would be 
Not good. She'd want to help teach me herself, and I'd have to... dance in front of her. Sheesh! Wonderful! Let's hear it for Huckleberry! <laughs> Yeah, forget the book. This wasn't the best plan. Oh, hello. Huck, hi, Tom Tom. Uh, hi, Blueberry. So glad you're here. How have you been? How's everything in Berry Big City? Great. Just on our way to, uh, and thought I'd stop by to, uh, borrow a book. Don't tell me. The new Patty Persimmon mystery? Yeah, something like that. Help yourself. I have to go help Lemon alphabetize her fingernail polish collection. She isn't sure whether to put the mauve morning before or after the meringue mist. Be back later. Take your time. Oh, and thanks. Whew. Come on, Tom Tom. I've been saved by nail polish. How to dance. How to dance. Mastering the mambo. Tangling with the tango. Broken break dance, what your instructor didn't tell you. Learn to dance in three easy lessons. Amaze your friends. Oh, 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 oh. Perfect. Like that, huh? Let's get out of here before Blueberry. You're back already. <sighs> Lemon didn't need me after all. Can you believe it? Instead of by name, she's organizing her nail polish by color. Oh, good. You found something? Yeah, uh, um, uh, uh, well, oh, you going to Plum's Dancing Dog Show? Absolutely. It's going to be great fun. She's looking for a third pup, but my Scouty has a sore paw. Well, you never know. Maybe some puppy will step up and help her. Like you, Tom Tom? Want to get up on the big stage and dance for everybody? Huh? Boy, does he ever. It'd be wonderful if you could. I know Plum would so appreciate it. Hey, I always like to help a friend. Come on, Tom Tom, we got things to do. No one will see us here, boy. Okay, step one. Dance begins with music. Right, even I knew that. First, find a good tune. Check. Step two. Taking your first step. Try this easy move. Left foot out. Left foot in. Left out. In. Oh, that wasn't hard. You try, Tom Tom. Come on, boy. Do what I do. Hmm. Left paw out, left paw in. Way to go, boy. Now what? Repeat twice. Left out, left in. Left out, left in. Uh-oh, we're falling behind. Right foot out, right foot in. Right out, right in. Repeat, left foot out, right foot. Left, repeat, right. Left, repeat, faster now, faster, repeat, repeat, no, your left foot, your other left! Whoa! <laughs> oh, fine, that's great. No music, no lessons, no lessons, no dance, no dance, no show. The girls are really gonna be disappointed with me. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> you want to play, huh? Okay, boy, fetch. <laughs> you might not think so, but I think you're a pretty good dancer. 
Huh? <laughs> oh, hey, Plum. Didn't know anybody was watching. I mean, didn't see you there. That was a cool little move you guys did. You can really dance. <laughs> oh, hey, no, I, I can't really. I mean, I, I'm not... Hi, Tom Tom. You can dance, can't you? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I know raw talent when I see it. You think? Seriously? So he doesn't need to audition? Nah. I have a special way to teach him the steps really fast. Really? Yeah. We'll have him on stage in no time. Can you bring him by the studio in an hour? We'll need a little time to get him ready. We'll be there. Right, Tom Tom? Oh, Huck, you saved the show. Thank you. Ah, uh, well, you know, anything I can do to help. I know how important these shows are to you guys. Well, I can't thank you enough. So I'll see you guys later. Bye, Tom Tom. You're going to be my star. You're okay with this, aren't you, boy? <laughs> That's what I thought. Good thing you don't have stage fright like me. Come on. Come on, Tom Tom. Come on, boy. You know how much this means to Plum, don't you? Hi, Tom Tom. <laughs> Ready for the show? Well, he's really excited, but he just needs a little help with his dance moves. No prob. I have learning to dance all computerized. Groove booties. They'll help anybody learn to dance. Sounds great. So, Tom Tom, want to give it a try? Okay, Jerry. Hit it. Wow, that's great! See? Easy peasy. Here you go, boy. Wow, that's it! That's it, Tom Tom. Yeah! You're doing great! <laughs> we're ready for you. We'll be right there. Come on, boy. Time to go on stage. Show everybody what you can do. to do it at any time. Okay, meet at Lemon's shop in one hour to get these pups prepped. The lemon's gonna make you look great. How's that look, Pupcake? You look very handsome, boy. Come on, Tom Tom. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt. Is everything okay, Huck? Sure, I, I mean, I don't know if, uh, not really. I don't know what's the matter with him. Are you sure Tom Tom likes to dance? He loves to dance. Well, when he's with me. I wonder if he doesn't like dancing in front of a lot of people, like someone else I know. Nah, that's not it, is it, boy? Huck, I know you want to help us with the show, but are you sure you aren't making him do something he doesn't want to do? <laughs> oh, he'll be fine once the show starts. Come on now, Tom Tom. <laughs> Any sign of Huck and Tom Tom? Not yet. But I'm sure they'll be here soon. Huck said they would. If they're not here in five minutes. <sighs> Tom Tom! Can't find him. He's gone! Have you seen him? No! no. This isn't like him. He doesn't just disappear. Something must have happened to him. I found these. He must have left them behind. But no Tom Tom! Come on, I'll help you find him. Tom Tom! Tom Tom! Tom Tom! 
Tom-Tom! Tom-Tom! Oh, do you think he might be hiding on purpose? Why would he do that? He loves to dance. You want to see us when we're playing. Tom-Tom! When it's just you two, there's a big difference. Play dancing with a friend and performing in front of others. I hate to think of him out there somewhere all alone because of me. Do you and Tom Tom have a special place? Uh, somewhere you like to go? Yeah, that's got to be where he is. Come on, Strawberry. That was the Dither Dance from the ballet Berries in Springtime. Tom Tom! You came back to our favorite spot, huh? Tom, Tom, I'm sorry. I never should have tried to make you do something you didn't want to do. Can you forgive me, boy? He must think you're going to make him dance for us again. See these? You don't have to wear them. Ever again. See? Gone. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's okay now. <gasps> the show's starting. Don't worry. I'll tell Plum. will be the perfect way for all of Berry Bitty City to celebrate the grand opening of our dog park. Give it some elbow grease. Let's make this dog park sparkle. Put a little muscle in it. Scrub them good. Let's make them say... Berry can Ed. Berry can Earl. You have work to do. Remember the Berry can code. A barrican never shirks his work. Uh, yes, sir, boss, sir. Uh, we're on the job. We gotta sneak out of here so we can get to work on <laughs> Project You Know What. Well, sure I know. Project Berry Top Secret. Shh. Oh, don't say it. Don't even mention its name. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This is a tablecloth, <laughs> not a toy. Hello? Hey, Huck. How's everything at Berry Big City? Oh, fine. Great. Uh, I got the invitation for the party tomorrow. It's a masquerade ball in honor of the grand opening of the dog park that you helped us build. You know, costumes, music, dancing. It's gonna be fun. See, that's just it. Uh, 
Dancing's just not my thing, you know? I appreciate it, but... But I'm sure you'd have a great time once you were here. Dancing? I can't do that. You wouldn't have to, Huck. I'd make sure nobody asked you. I'd stay by your side every minute. Every minute? Not every other minute? <laughs> you couldn't get rid of me if you wanted. Okay. If you promise. Promise. See you tomorrow, 7 o'clock. He'll be here. Oh, no! Scouty! <laughs> the girls worked super hard on those decorations. And you ruined it. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I don't think it was Scouty's fault. Hannah? <laughs> Looks like you guys jumped to a wrong conclusion. We're so sorry, Blueberry. We're sorry, Scouty. Oh, that's okay. Let's clean this up so we can finish decorating. A few details to finish up tomorrow, and we're done. I hope so. I still have to get my dress ready. Let's get a good night's sleep and meet at the cafe in the morning. You coming, Blueberry? Oh, I'm right behind you. Decorations are up. Check. I've started the food. I'll bring some dog treats from the store. Check. Do you need any help with the music, Cherry? All taken care of. Blueberry was going to print some welcome signs. I wonder where she is. I have some extra masks at my boutique if anyone needs one. And if anybody wants help with their hair, Blueberry, hi. Where are you? When I woke up, I wasn't <laughs> feeling too, too, too bad. Oh, Blueberry. It's just a little <laughs> cold, but I can't make it. <laughs> Good night. Well, don't worry about the party. You just get better. I promised Huck I'd be there. I said I'd be with him the whole time. He'll be fine. We'll make sure. Now, get back to bed. Can I bring you anything? Thanks, Strawberry. I'm okay. Poor kid. That's too bad. It's worse than bad. It's awful. I know she was really just so... So, looking forward to it. Well, you know Blueberry. She's mostly worried about how Huck will feel. There has to be some way I can help. I have to do something. I know what to do. <laughs> Raspberry has that box of extra gowns. I can go to the masquerade party as Blueberry. Oh, Hannah, isn't that an absolutely super idea? I'll get one of the blue gowns and wear a blue wig Oh, Huck will never know I'm not her. Come on, Hannah. I have a lot of work to do. Hmm. There has to be something I can... Of course. Blueberry can't go to the party, but I can go to the party for her. I'll wear a blue gown and a blue wig. <laughs> and no one will ever know. Careful, Earl, careful. You know what's in this thing? Sure, Project Berry Top Secret. Shh! If somebody hears, it won't be secret anymore, will it? Uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Blueberry, how are you feeling? <laughs> Achoo! I felt Achoo! worse, but I... Achoo! I can't remember when. This should help. A fresh brewed batch of Be Better Berry Tea. Drink some and you'll be berry better very soon. Always works for me. Did you hear that, Scouty? Wait, listen. There! Hear it? I'm not sneezing. 
Strawberry's tea really did work. I can go to the party and Huck won't be alone after all. There isn't much time. I have to get ready. Won't everyone be surprised to see me? Now, the final touch. Super! Hannah! Come on, girl! I'm right here. <laughs> if my own dog doesn't know me, no one will! If I didn't know I was me, I think I was her. Chiffon, it's time! <gasps> Don't be scared, sweetie. <laughs> I'm still me. Here? I haven't seen him yet. I need to tell him about Blueberry as soon as he gets here. Perfect! Blueberry? Oh, um, yep. That's me, Blueberry. Who else would I be? <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh! <laughs> Only a smidgen of a sniffle left, but feeling much better. <laughs> that tea works pretty well, huh? <laughs> tea? Sure, um, tea's good. I love tea as much as I love books. Huck's going to be glad you made it. Have you seen him? Not yet. You still sound a little funny. You're sure you're okay? Oh! <laughs> Uh, doing super. Just a little... <coughs> cough. Uh, better get some of that tea. <laughs> okay, Chiffon. Wish me luck. How's your cough, Blueberry? Cough? It's... It's much, much better, thank you. Oh, my gosh. You have laryngitis. Don't talk. It'll strain your throat. Good idea. Seen Huck? Still not here. You seem different somehow. Are you sure you're all right? Never mind, don't talk. But could you tell me, just nod yes or no, have you seen Lemon anywhere? She isn't here. Oh, neither is Raspberry. I'll go get her. Oh, I mean, I'll go get her. A party without Raspberry is like, um, a bookstore without books. <laughs> You were looking for raspberry. Oh, I was looking for tea, remember? Wow, your voice is better. How did that happen? Oh, uh, yes, well, um, mystery novel lover that I am, uh, it's a mystery. <laughs> hey, I just realized I haven't seen Lemon. I'll go see where she is. <laughs> Who? It is I, Barrick and Bruce. How do you like my disguise? It's, um, it's, it's great. Excuse me, just a moment. I have to figure something out. Certainly. 
Plum. Guess who? I'm really glad you made it, Huck. Thanks. This does look like fun. It is. Want something to eat? Sure. When I saw how great the park looked, it made me think, what a cool place to set a mystery story. Like maybe a jewel heist at the masquerade ball mystery. Huck, that's terrific. You want to work on it together? Definitely. Let me get a pad of paper and we'll write down some ideas. Hey, whoa, hold on, Blueberry. You promised you wouldn't leave me alone, remember? Here, sit, eat. That way you won't have to dance with anybody. But... <laughs> Guess who? <laughs> Earl? Those guys are supposed to be making sure the lanterns don't run out of sparkleberry juice. If they're shirking their work... So, here you are! <laughs> Siobhan, you can't have this. Uh, go find raspberry! Hey! I brought you a piece of raspberry tort. Made it myself. Uh, thanks. Now, let's get to work on our story. Get to work? Story? Oh! Our story! Later, later. This is a party! <laughs> Who wants to work at a party? <laughs> but you said... Hey, wanna dance? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're not kidding? Kidding? Uh, no. No? Why would you ask me to dance? How could you ask me to dance? The only reason I agreed to come to this shindig is that you promised that I wouldn't have to... Excuse me, guys. Has anybody seen Raspberry? Well, you're looking right at... Oh, I mean... Well, uh, I mean, not me. I mean, no, yes, I mean... Oh, Raspberry, of course, because I'm Blueberry. I'm a Blueberry. But if it's Raspberry you're looking for, then, uh, that's not me. So, but... I bet I can find her for you. Raspberry, that is, that I can do, even though I'm Blueberry. Is it just me, or is everybody acting strange tonight? I don't think they're acting. Huck, there you are. Where'd you think I was? Look what I brought, lemon meringue pie. Made it myself. Boy, you've sure been baking. And please, don't ask me to dance. Yeah, why would I? <sighs> Well, that's more like it. Not when you're so hungry. Right. But let me know when you've had enough dessert, and then we'll hit the dance floor. <laughs> you really know how to milk a joke. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Listen, while you were gone, I got an idea. About what? About how to pull off the jewel robbery. <laughs> hmm. Jewel robbery? The way I see it, a jewel robbery is a natural for a masquerade ball like this. Uh, it is? I figure, with this crowd and all the noise, everybody in costume, it'd be easy to steal the jewels. Nobody's gonna know who did it. Jewels, sure, if you say so. Terrific, Blueberry. Then we're on the same page, so to speak. <laughs> How about the jewel heist idea? <gasps> Princess Merrickin, he's gonna steal her tiara. So, you sure you like my idea? You don't seem very excited. Um, well, I'm Blueberry, and I always like your ideas, right? So, yeah, I love it! Now, here's where I really need your help, because you're always so clever at figuring out this part, Blueberry. How do we pull off the getaway? <gasps> getaway? Um, yeah, that's a good idea. I, um, uh, let me get right back to you on that. I think I need tea. My... <coughs> coming back, excuse me. Don't you want to work on the story? Uh, not just this minute, no. How about some shortcake, Huck? Made it myself. Princess, where's the princess? <gasps> so, you know the drill. Sure, I'll memorize Project Top Berry Secret forwards and backwards. You mean backwards and forwards? Uh-huh, that too. 
No one's gonna see it coming. <laughs> They'll never suspect. <gasps> An inside job. Come on. We gotta set up the last fuses. I caught you. How'd they get away? Well, I'm ready. For what? To talk about the story. You said you didn't want to. What? I never said that. You did too. I heard you with my own ears. Just like I heard you ask me if I wanted to dance. What? I never would have asked you to. Twice. You sat right there and said, Oh, Maybe you heard what you wanted to hear. Maybe you're just looking for an excuse to go. Maybe I am. Well then, go. Well, all right then, I will. I'm going. Wait, I'm going first. Huck, where are you going? I'm, hey, what? What's going on? I have captured a criminal mastermind. Huckleberry? Uh, he was planning to steal the princess's jewels. I stopped him just in time and foiled a grand conspiracy between this villain and that one. Blueberry? Or, uh, uh I mean, uh, that one. Blueberry? What's going on here? Which blueberry is Blueberry? Uh, I am! Would you mind removing your masks? I can't. I'm too embarrassed. I think I know how to settle this. Scouty, will you help me, please? Go on, boy. Go to Blueberry. <laughs> Blueberry, are you all right? Huck said some very mean things to me. None of them made sense. He's not being himself at all. Oh, he's not the only one. What's this? Who are you? Uh, you? You can't be her. I'm her. Well, if you're her, who's she? Why don't we all take off our masks? Raspberry? Lemon? Blueberry? What are you doing here? Why are you pretending to be me? Well, I thought you were at home sick, and I knew you were worried about Huck being at the party alone, so... Me too! I didn't know she was, and I thought he would be, and so I... But then you... Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> then it must be Barrick and Ed and Earl who are stealing the jewels. Nobody's stealing any jewels. I was talking about a mystery story with Blueberry. Or... Somebody. But, but, uh, I heard Earl talking about Project Barry Top Secret. Uh, it seems like we've all been jumping to conclusions. Ed, Earl, could you come here, please? Aha! Uh -huh. You two! Project Barry Top Secret? Did you guys take care of it? Shh! You'll spoil your own surprise, Strawberry. You're in on it too, Strawberry! Oh, the shame of it. <laughs> We're ready to go. Press the button, Earl. Well done, Ed and Earl. 